Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomaticos. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net December 2019 and we are here with this problem 27 of your paper. It's a linear algebra problem so let us have a look. Let M4R be the space of all 4 cross 4 matrices over R. So it's a space which consists of 4 cross 4 matrices over R and they are defining its subspace W like this. It consists of all those matrices for which summation Aij is 0, uh, summation is running over i plus j is equal to k and k is like this. We will talk about this later. But finally what we have to do, we have to find out dimension for the problem. So now let us understand your space initially. So M4 over R. So it's a space of matrices which is over the field R. That means it consists of 4 cross 4 matrices. A is a 4 cross 4 matrices. Alright, Aij such that Aij is inside your R. Alright. It is not necessary that your because your field is R, I am not saying that that is why it belongs to R. It can happen that even if the field is R, your Aij is inside C. But because it is not given to you, that means you, are, you don't have to take that. So in a general case, alright, when it is not given to you, consider your space as, uh, your, your elements for, uh, of the matrices from the space R. All right, are you getting my point or not? So it, uh, what I am telling, I will repeat this. Even if the field is R, it can happen that the elements inside the matrix is from complex. So it is not necessary that it will be from R, but because it is not given and it, it has, uh, the question is not mentioning that thing, that means we have to take it from R. So what do you think a four cross four matrix look like? It looks like this, one entry is over here, one, two, three, four entries are on the first row and you have four rows, all right. So now I am defining dimension. So dimension of a vector space is given as number of free variables, all right. Number of free variables in your space. Now see this element over here is arbitrary. We can choose any, all right, any element from R and can place here. That will be still be a matrix. So every element inside your matrix is a free variable. You can take any, all right, there is no restriction. You can take any element of R and you can place over here. So every entry over here is a free variable entry. That means dimension of M4R will be 4 cross 4. How many entries do we have? We have 16 entries. Now what I want to tell you that if V is a vector space and W is its subspace, W is the subspace of the vector space V, then what happens is this, that dimension of V is given by dimension of V minus number of linearly independent restrictions. So sometimes this formula becomes very important in order to find out dimension for the subspace. Now see what we have an element, sorry, an, a matrix from this M4R in, will enter in W only if this satisfy your condition, this condition. That means this is a restriction, all right? We consider this as restriction. Now what we have to do, we have to understand how many Li restrictions do we have from this equation? So see, k is varying from 2, 3, 4, 5 up to, all right, let us write everything, 7, 8, up to 8. Now let us say if k is 2, then what will happen? You will get this, that summation i plus j is equal to, uh, sorry, 2, not 1, i plus j is equal to 2 aij will be 0. What is the meaning of this? It means that i plus j you want to be 2. It means that you have only one condition, a11, all right? i plus j is 2 and i or j are natural number. That means i and j has to be 1, 1. It means that a11 should be 0. So you got one condition, one restriction, all right? 
Now see if you take it as 3 then what will happen you will get this summation i plus j is equal to 3 a i j then what will happen is this a all right you want sum to be 3 a 1 2 plus a 2 1 this is 0 this is your second restriction all right now in the third one if you are talking about the third one you want your sum to be 4 so what are the possible ways the possible ways will be 3 1 plus a 2 2 plus a 2 1 sorry 1 3 now let us see it here so initially when you want the sum all right when k was 2 you are getting this as 0 c in the second one you are getting this sum of these two entries this one and this one as 0 these are the two entries that are over here all right so in the third one you are getting this so that means in the fourth one what you will get you will get this this to be 0 then this to be 0 and then this to be 0 so how many equations we will get this is third number all right this is first equation second equation third equation fourth equation fifth equation and final one sixth equation so we are getting six restrictions now the point is whether they are ally or not we have to talk on that issue now see in every every equation there is a variable which is different from the previous one are you getting my point you have different variables over here and here you have different variables that means both equations are completely different they cannot be linearly dependent because the variable is the different so from here we are getting that we have how many restrictions we have six restrictions all right so am i correct are these six one two three four five six maybe i am wrong last one will be uh, when you want your eight one all right we have eight last one is there you can count it from here one two three four five six seven so how many restrictions we are getting instead of six i should write seven i was uh, i was missing this entry the and the last one so we have seven restrictions now because in every restriction the variable is different see in this one you have a11 you don't have a11 over here so how can you talk about linear dependence about one and two equation they will be linearly independent also they are linearly independent so what you have to subtract according to this formula that we have for the dimension of the subspace dimension of the subspace w will be 16 minus number of li restrictions how many li restrictions do we have we have eight that sorry we have seven li restriction all right seven li restrictions so what we, we should get we should get nine as our correct answer all right so this is how we can actually solve your problem that means third option is the correct option so let us mark this is correct this is incorrect this is incorrect and this is incorrect all right so this is how we can actually solve your problem. So thank you. If you have any doubt also in this problem, you can always ask in the comment section. And if you have any different doubt than this one, what you can do, you can join our WhatsApp and Telegram groups. Uh, people are there to answer your problem. All right. They are also a student like you. So you ha just have to ask and what they can, if they know the answer, they will help you. All right. So thank you.